What's up, Internet? My name is Kyle, back with another video about cameras and tech and all that good stuff. Today, we're going to talk about using an external microphone, which I'm pointing to mine above me, and how you can sync that audio with your video and get rid of the on-camera crappy audio that everybody complained about in my first couple of videos and basically make your videos higher quality because of the audio, not the video. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to make this video because a lot of people complained about the audio quality in the first couple of videos I started making when I started making camera videos and stuff like that. And for good reason, the audio was terrible. Here's an example. This lens right here, which I don't get to use enough, is my girlfriend's uh, 18 to 105 G uh, F4. So the reason the audio is so crappy is because my living room is huge. This is where I film. It's very echoey. Um, and the camera recording the audio when I'm a little bit far away or even just right here is going to sound tinny or like you're in a tin can. It's not going to sound very good. Using an external microphone like the H1 Zoom is going to give you so much better results. But then you have to separate the audio from your other video clip and then you have to sync it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's very easy and it's the simplest way to give your YouTube videos a great feel, a great higher quality, and that's what I did that took my videos to the next level. Okay, so I've talked about this microphone before. Um, if you don't know what it looks like, this is the box that it comes in, and I'll show you some shots of the actual microphone itself. However, I can't hold it and show it at the same time. Unless I do a voiceover, I could do that. Let's do that. Okay, so this is what the microphone looks like. Um, there's a simple flat out record button right in the dead center. Um, there is a power on switch on the side and I kind of left all of the levels and all of that on default and you use a micro SD card slot on the side here. Uh, micro SD card looks like this um, and when you actually plug it into your computer uh, you need a normal SD card adapter which most micro SD cards come with. So those are the basics of the recorder. I don't really use any uh, special features of it or anything like that. I simply use it to get the highest quality audio for the best price, in my opinion. So I've actually done a video on sort of the setup before. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above my head somewhere so you guys can check that out. But let's get back to the microphone and the audio. It's how you actually sync that audio with your video. And it's very simple. Um, a lot of people clap. And why they do that is it'll create three little ripple effects in the audio file. You can see it very clearly in the timeline of whatever um, program you're using. I'll show you guys how to do it in Final Cut. Sure, it's very similar to iMovie, and then I'm sure it's very similar to Adobe Premiere or other programs as well. Okay, so I store my files like this, audio, thumbnails, video. Um, you want to bring in your video clips first, sets the timeline quality, so it's going to set it to the 1080p timeline, and then you bring in the audio. Now this is how they matched up uh, just bringing them in, and it's a little off, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So the three claps I was talking about, I, I do them right here in the video, as you can see, let <laughs> me wipe my nose, and um, down in the audio, the external audio, um, you can see this is where I did the three claps just by looking at the uh, spikes in the audio. I'm gonna do command plus and zoom in and it's clear as day where the claps are. So you need to match these up. So one of the first step you need to do is detach the audio from your video. So I'm gonna just select the video, right click and then detach audio. So now I have a second line. This is the in-camera audio this is the external. Um, you can tell by file name and you can also tell by, you know, this bottom one wasn't there before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the external audio over top, try and match it, try and eyeball it as best as I can. And then I'm gonna select the in camera and I'm gonna hit the V key as in Victor. And that's gonna disable the other audio. So now when I hit spacebar and play, it's just going to play the video 
and the external audio that I want. So here we go. And boom, it's synced up. So now how to make it sync up um, completely, you need to combine the video and the audio. Otherwise, when you're cutting things up, things are gonna get jumbled, then it's gonna be a nightmare. So how you do that is you click one of them. So I'm gonna click the video, uh, hold the command key for uh, Mac and left click the audio. And then with them both highlighted, I'm gonna right click and do new compound clip. Um, it defaults to whatever name it is. I'm just gonna do compound one just for the sake and hit okay. And then that combines your audio with the video. So now it is completely together. So now if I cut things up, it keeps the audio with it. So that's basically all you do. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it one more time with uh, clips of my dogs here. Um, it's just super simple, um, but seeing it twice sometimes helps. You got the video with the in-camera audio here and you have the external down here. So as you can clearly see, the audio waves do not match up. Now, I didn't clap or anything like that, but you can just tell by the audio waves. The clapping is just for like a starting point or a, a guide, if you will. So I'm gonna bring this over here so it matches up better. I'm gonna do Command Plus to kind of dive in even closer and get a better view. I'm going to then detach the on-camera video uh, audio, hit V to disable that. So now I just have the crispy, good audio from the external mic, the H1 Zoom, and the video. I'm gonna see if it matches up. We got Harvey a new collar and Sammy a new collar. It's kind of hard to hold Sammy up here. He's a lot heavier. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that matches up. Let me double check here. It's kind of hard to hold Sammy up here. He's a lot heavier. Yeah, I mean, my lips are moving at the same time as the audio. I think that matches up quite well. You can really tell down here if it does. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the bad audio, select both of these, right click, new compound clip, hit enter. You don't need to rename it. It increments it in numbers anyway. And then we got Harvey a new collar and Sammy a new collar. It's kind of hard to hold Sammy up here. He's a lot heavier, but Harvey has little sharks on his collar. Boom, there you go. Uh, yeah, we got Harvey a new collar with sharks and uh, Sammy has uh, paw prints. And dogs on his <laughs> I started talking when that audio, Never mind. Anyway, uh, back to non-voiceover Kyle. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, those are the nitty details of how you do it in Final Cut. Hopefully if you use other programs, it's very similar. Um, I can't imagine it being that much different. I love this microphone. Ever since I started using it, um, nobody comments on my audio anymore. Um, it's much... E I just realized. <laughs> I hope that's not in the whole thing. Can you hold on for like two minutes? Can we, I just Go ahead, get your thing. I'm looking for one specific Go ahead, get your thing. Meg's doing like arts and crafts in our kitchen right now. And I just realized she's sifting through for markers and stuff. And it's probably super loud. Find your marker. Find it. Are you done? So yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's how you do it in Final Cut. And I'm sure it's very similar to other programs, like I said before. Um, yeah, ever since I started using this microphone or just an external dedicated audio source, my audio has been so much better. No one complains about it. And I feel like my videos are a lot easier to digest and watch. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I go to watch a video on YouTube, the like number one thing is, can I hear them? Yeah, I, I just, I can't emphasize enough how important audio is to a video. I, I know it seems like video might be more important, but I would say that audio is more important, especially when it comes to YouTube. So if you're starting a channel or something, don't be afraid to just start with what you have. 
I actually, I forget what video it is, but I did a video where I recorded audio strictly on my iPhone, and then I did the same methods that we just did in this video with my iPhone audio, um, and it, it turned out a lot better, and then I got this mic and it got even better. So yeah, I mean, if you don't have an external microphone or you don't even have a dedicated camera like this, just start with your phone. Start making YouTube videos with your phone. You can get better stuff later, don't worry about it. My first three videos doing camera stuff, I got the most views on. That one video that I did has like 170,000 views and the audio is terrible and it kills me to this day that I did that, but I would have never gotten the exposure, never gotten started and gotten you know the momentum I have right now if I didn't make that video even though I didn't have an external microphone. So I'm super happy that I made it. I'm super happy that I've upgraded and that people you know, let me know in the comments, hey, your audio is not great, you should upgrade. And I have, and I feel like the overall video quality, um, you know, we're talking about audio, but the overall video quality of this channel has just gone up. So that's like my number one tip for people starting YouTube, but also don't worry about audio if you're just not starting yet. Get started regardless of it. So hopefully all that makes sense made sense to me and um, I hope it helps you guys. All right guys, so that is it for me. I'm done rambling, sorry about that. Um, thank you so much, we just crossed 7,000 subscribers as well and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.